Hey everybody, I am back again at... Wait, what am I? <laughs> Hey everybody, as you can see, I am at Disney California Adventure at the Disneyland Resort in California. And I'm here to do another doll review from the park. I've been enjoying Pixar Pier. I actually hit rope drop and hit all of the rides that you see behind me. I think I mentioned before in one of my videos that if you hit rope drop, a lot of people will like run over to Avengers Campus or Cars Land. But if you head straight back to Pixar Pier, there is no lines. For the first like 20, 30 minutes of the day, all of the rides are a walk on. You don't have any wait. So if you want to get a lot of rides done in a little bit of time, head back to Pixar Pier at the beginning of the day because these lines can get pretty long. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. We're here to take a look at another doll. And this is another one of those dolls that I've actually been getting a lot of requests for in the comments on my other videos. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mulan. Here is the box for the Mulan doll. Now, from what I can tell, they didn't really change too much about the doll from the previous iteration with the plastic box, or, you know, the one that had the plastic shell. Uh, this is the new packaging, but I think the doll is pretty much the same as the last version. The only difference is instead of that little clip that it comes with for the little silhouette that you can clip on your shirt, um, this one comes with a hairbrush. So I've pointed out in all of these videos that this new packaging is plastic-free. It is very eco-friendly. It is recyclable, also reusable. The ink that they use to print the picture is soy-based, so there's a lot that Disney's doing to try and basically, like, shrink their carbon footprint as it was. I really like that and I like the fact that these are reusable because I actually use these boxes for storage. So it's definitely really handy in that way. The only downside is that you can't actually see the doll you're getting before you get it because they're inside the box. I mean, you can see obviously the picture is there so you can see which doll you're getting but uh, and what, what she's going to look like. But yeah, you can't like check to make sure the facial screening and the paint is good and everything. So so on the back of the box here, you can see there's like a, a picture from the movie and it just says Mulan up here. Um, on the back, there is a website that Disney has put here. The website is DisneySmallWorld.com forward slash Mark. So if you want to check it out, let me wait, <laughs> I can't see. I've got sunglasses on and it's bright out here. There we go. So if you want to check it out, you can go see that website right there. So what I like about these boxes is even though they are plastic free and you can't see the doll beforehand, it is extremely easy to open. So they're only being held closed by this little sticker right here. And I've always been able to just use my thumbnail to um, break that little sticker and then you're able to open it. Lift up the flap and there you can see your doll. Oh, she is so pretty. See, even though I can't see the doll before I get it, the quality control is so good on these dolls that I never really need to worry about it. I don't think I've ever really gotten anything more than a very minor flaw on any of these dolls. The doll is in this little insert right here. And then on the inside of the box, there's kind of a picture. It's kind of hard for me to show you because of the sun right now, um, but it's just like part of the bridge that she stands on in the movie. Now the doll doesn't come with a stand or anything like that. However, this insert can double as a stand. If you want to display your dolls, you can put them on the shelf. And what's cool is it's got this picture here and it looks like they're standing at some kind of a balcony or something. I really like this one actually. Um, but yeah, and these actually can stand. You can balance them just like that. To get the doll out of the box, you just get this little tab right here, open that, and then there you go. So the doll is just kind of sitting in here. There is a little cardboard strap around her feet. So you just got to be careful of that. But once you do that, the doll is free. Now, if you open this up, it kind of becomes a little scene. It's the same scene that you saw on the inside of the box. So it's just a more complete picture of the um, bridge. Now up here, the doll also comes with the brush. So here's the brush. It's got like a little Disney castle on it. 
and it's a light blue color. Usually these brushes match what the doll is wearing. Um, she has blue on her like mid section here, but it's not the same color blue. So this is the, one of the first times I've seen that um, it doesn't match exactly, but I mean, it's okay. It's, I'm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the brush back in here so I don't lose it. All right, now that brings us to the doll. Now, her hair is being held by this rubber band. I'm just gonna free her hair. Although there is a little breeze right now. I don't know if that was the best idea. <laughs> oh, her hair is so soft. They have really upped the quality of the hair I'm noticing with all these newer dolls because some of my older Mulan and um, Pocahontas and like the other dolls, like their hair is kind of dry, but these are, this is actually really nice. Whew. I'm gonna have to move in a little bit. Out in the sun here, I'm getting a, a nice tan, also known as a burn. <laughs> But anyway, so here is the doll. Now I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit so you can have a better look at her. Now, I know the lighting is really harsh. Maybe I should have picked a more shady spot, but that's okay. Her face is so pretty. Honestly, I think Mulan is one of the prettiest dolls that Disney makes. She is so gorgeous. Her hair is, you know, down to about her waist. So it's kind of like in between what you see in the movie when it's longer and after she cuts her hair. There is no product in her hair except for right at the front. You can see she does have like little bangs right here that are kind of cut. Um, that does have hair gel in it to keep the style in. I can never remember what order Mulan wears all of her outfits in the movie. Um, I don't remember if the, this outfit is the one that's at the beginning of the movie or at the end, but uh, she is wearing her green and yellow, her primary color dress um, with the green top. It looks like there are multiple layers and everything, but they are all just kind of part of the outfit um, and it does not carry around to the back, but the outfit is all just one piece, which is unfortunate because, you know, I'd like to see some higher quality in some of these doll outfits, you know, back in the 90s and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff would have been separate pieces and everything. So, in fact, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of the original Mulan dolls that Mattel did back in like the 90s. Now, all of the classic dolls have the same articulation. There is movement at the head, at the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist. They can move at the hip and they all have bend and snap knees. Her legs are a little war warbly. Mulan comes with some flats. They're just little black flats. They're the same flats that all of the Disney princess dolls have right now. Um, so they are not a unique shoe mold at all but they are in black whereas um, all the other ones are in different colors for the different princesses for Mulan it actually does make sense for her to have flat shoes because I don't think in her movie she ever wore heels at all so this definitely makes sense for her um, so I'm not gonna like complain or rant the way I do in other videos about how I don't like the flat feet on dolls <laughs> check out some of the other reviews from the park and you'll know what I'm talking about Anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for the Mulan doll. Um, there's not really a lot to these classic dolls. Like I said, they just come with a brush and um, it, you know, the main thing is like the new boxes and stuff like that. And the few updates, like I said, her hair is definitely a really nice quality um, compared to previous iterations. And like, I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> it's almost as good as the aerial hair. So I'm really happy that Disney is starting to up the, you know, the doll hair game. So anyway, let me know what you think of this doll down in the comments down below. I'm gonna get going because I do have a couple more reviews from the park that I have to do, um, and I like to do them in different locations. So I gotta go figure out where I'm gonna sit for the next one. But <laughs> And if you wanna check that out, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. You're gonna get that notification when the next video does pop up. So anyway, I'm gonna get going for right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.